What's up, guys? Game Fiend, Fiend of All Games here. Bringing you a TDM on um, Firing Range. As it starts off, I was using Theater Mode again. My perks were Slider Hand Pro. Well, excuse me. Let me change the order. Flat Jacket, Slider Hand Pro, and I think Tactical Mass Pro. As I try to see if I get the open and aid. But um, my thoughts on this video I'm going to review the past last two shows of wrestling this is a wrestling this is going to be a wrestling um vid so for those of you who don't like wrestling you could mute me and watch the gameplay or you could just like leave a dislike and just leave so on raw raw started off as C as triple h coming out and calling out cm punk and they had a very very nice promo and cm punk broke the fourth wall again with a pipe bomb as he calls it, as he said that uh, Stephanie is the one that wears the, the pants in their relationship. And I got Triple H really upset because before then, they had a, um, they talked, Nash and Triple H were talking about, oh, who did the lie, about who did the cell phone and the line stops here and how Nash faked that he got into a car accident last week so he could get Triple H to leave the building. So Nash could come back and distract CM Punk so CM Punk could lose to Cena. And so it was Triple H set a match for Night of Champions to be CM Punk versus Kevin Nash. Now realistically I'm saying what the fuck at the age of I think he's like early 50s and he had like I think two knee surgeries. At his age what is he going to do in a wrestling match? With somebody as talented in the ring against CM Punk. Like, story-wise, it's interesting. But a good match-wise, I don't think that would be entertaining to see. But that's just my opinion. But later on in the show, it ends with Triple H changing the match to himself versus CM Punk. Which is, is far likely going to be better match-wise. So... Uh, other topics from that, from the night, it was a, another uh, spectacular match was um, Dolph Ziggler versus Randy Orton. I did not expect that match to be that good. I honestly just thought it was just going to be a squash match. Squash match. Randy Orton was just going to come in and beat Ziggler, but no, it was actually very, very good. Like, And Dolph Ziggler's selling move skills is, in my opinion, right up there with The Rock on selling moves. Dolph is Dolph is going to be up there one day. If if he doesn't mess up like outside the ring and all behind the scenes, if he like stays, you know, doesn't get to any trouble, he's going to be up there in the upcoming years. Just watch out for Dolph Ziggler. He he has he has the goofy heel charisma that's entertaining to me. He dresses original like he'll have, he'll have like the um the blazer with no tie like a regular shirt. And with like some um I think they're called dunks. I'm not big on sneakers. With like some regular pants and dunks. And he have his belt around. Like, who dresses like that? Every nowadays people try to copy well as you see heels now that try to copy Jericho with the suit. And I'm sorry, only Miz could pull the suit off as a heel. No other heel could wear a suit as good as Chris Jericho or the Miz. But, yeah, Dolph is going to be somewhere in a couple of years. Just watch out for Dolph. That match was good. Very entertaining. Um, what else happened on Raw? Uh, let's see. Got a, Oh, CM Punk was the... See, yeah, CM Punk versus The Miz was a very, very... Since we're talking about The Miz, was a very, very entertaining match. And it's kind of odd since they're... Well, CM, I'm just going to say CM Punk is an anti-hero. Because he's not fully a face. And he's not a heel. But that match was good, but it got disrupted because, uh, no, 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 it didn't get, wait, how did it end? No, no, I'm thinking about it, it didn't get disrupted. Oh, yeah, and then in disqualification because, uh, yeah, what you call it, uh, R-Truth came out. Yeah, R-Truth came out and distracted, yeah, got in the ring and then DQ'd, it DQ'd the Miz and Miz, Skull Crush and Finale Punk. Yeah, that was a good way to end the match. Because they're they're trying to push both of them at the same time, and I wouldn't want that to have a clean finish because that would mean putting down one of them. 
And besides those matches, those were the only two matches that stood out to me that night. Well, then you had the tag team match at the ending, but it was... Yeah, it was bad. I don't see why you have Christian lose. Even though he's gonna... Even though the cage match was the next night on SmackDown, which was live. Which I'll talk about briefly about SmackDown in a second. Um... Yeah, because there's no way. We already know Christian wasn't going to win the cage match. Hence, look at the poster for Night of Champions. It's Randy Orton holding the title. So, yeah, we could already probably thought that he wasn't going to win anyway. But I don't, know, I don't see why would you have him lose his match before then. But a uh, brief thing about SmackDown being live. I think SmackDown the one should always be live. So I wouldn't. And number one, I think SmackDown's on the wrong day. Should be on should be on a it should be on Tuesdays or Wednesdays or I just don't see why they don't go live every uh every Tuesday but anyway the only match that stood out was the cage match and the and the signing pack promo signing contract between Triple H to CM Punk was very entertaining but as you can see my time is up and I guess I'll talk to you guys later peace